What's up, guys? I am Corey, and joined with me is Christian, and we are going to review the final chapter of the Naruto manga series. Woo. The final chapter was interesting in that it actually kind of felt like the start of something new, and that's because they were introducing so many new characters, and we got to see all of these characters age rapidly, and they look like they're much older than they appear in the last and it's all in full color, it all looks great, and I just thought it was a pretty nice ending. I would have liked a little bit more, but uh, I just, I loved all the new designs, especially Naruto's new kids. Naruto's new kids, uh, you pretty much got little Naruto and little Hinata, you know? You, you they, they have different names, and they obviously have crossover uh, looks and things like that, but uh, it's just more evident the more and more you read that there's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. a very passive young nice daughter and then a very uh loud you know troublemaking son just like naruto just like and obviously naruto. i think bolt gets a uh, top billing in the uh, the final chapter and yes. especially when compared to his uh, younger sister who basically just looks like a little hinata and she's basically has one major scene where uh, she's hanging out with her mother hinata and they're at neji's grave paying their respects yes um but the thing that's really interesting about this chapter is just how they fly through and they show you all the brand new teams um, like, the first thing that's cool is you get to see the return of Inoshika Cho just in a form that I never expected because you get to see the, uh, the son of both Ino and Sai, which is a relationship I didn't think was going to happen. I there's, didn't see that coming. <laughs> there's, um, there's Karui and Choji's daughter, Cho Cho, and her sensei apparently is Anko, who has put on a little bit of weight. She's been eating way too many Dongo. <laughs> um, I just think that's really funny because last time we saw Anko was like way before the war had even started when she was captured by Kabuto. Yes. And just the see her back now in such a drastic form is just so strange. When I saw her first, I'm like, wait a minute. No. No, it is! It's Anko! It was just very, very strange. It's a, it's a strange. lot of Anko. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we also see uh, them still at Neji's grave. You see mm -hmm. Hinata uh, talking to their daughter and saying, like, oh, you know, your uncle would like to know that you're here, or he'd be happy you're here. And uh, we also see Rock Lee and his new son. Who's the mother? Who's Who is the mother of his child? I really wish they would have followed up on that. I guess the closest thing I could think of would maybe be Tenten. -Ten. But Tenten -Ten now has a day job. She's not just a ninja. She's actually a weapons dealer. And she sells a lot of cool ninja weapons. And she's kind of discouraged because now that the world has so much peace in it, she can't really make any money. Yeah. But it is cool that she still has uh, all of the ancient weapons like the rope, the gourd, and the fan. It says not for sale, though. So I don't think anyone can just come in and get those. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just... It's interesting. I, I immediately think of like a video game where you walk in the item shop and it's like, have a look at my wares, you know, and that's 1010, <laughs> you know, selling a sharp shuriken and things like that. Uh, we, we also have Gara grown up uh, who looks very different. Uh, mm -hmm. His home, his hair's all combed over and stuff. We saw some of this yesterday when mm -hmm. we did uh, that. Uh, it's funny. Just everyone's just hanging out. I think that that's kind of funny. You know, it's just like everyone chilling and having a good time uh, in the new world. I think they said this was a... Uh, how many years do you think this is? At least 10. At least a dozen. There, there's no doubt in my mind this has to play to at least 10. There's no way it doesn't. I mean, they just, they've aged so much. Even Akamaru is still alive, which I just find hilarious because he looks so old and geriatric and Kiba's like, right, buddy? And he's just like, mm, whatever. <laughs> like, he doesn't even do Look, anything. Come 100 in dog years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Choji's new design is hilarious and, you know, it, it's funny because he went from being fat to being thin to being fat again to being Kevin Smith. <laughs> and just, I think that's really funny, but I like his design. I like the goatee look. Um, you know, I just, I would have never expected that him and Karui would be a thing because they just need, never showed any interaction between the two, but whatever, I'm, I'm willing to accept it. A lot of time has passed. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we have uh, Asuma's child, which, you know, they're actually following up on that, um, and it looks like they're all getting ready to meet up with uh, Kakashi. What's the name of that Uchiha I said they look, she looked like? I, uh, I think Kagami? No, looks a Shishui. Lot. Shishui, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Itachi's friend? Yeah, looks a lot. Looks a lot, yeah. A lot like him. You know, and the fact that Kurenai already has those, like, weird red eyes just makes it look even more so. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of a uh, looksy... Mm -hmm. uh, Looks like that. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, we go to the old folks' home, and we have Kakashi and Guy hanging out. Mm -hmm. uh, they also said earlier in the uh, chapter that Kakashi did step down as Hokage. So mm -hmm. we know there's a new Hokage, but they haven't mm -hmm. told us who. Mm -hmm. yet. So that means in the span of two chapters, two new Hokages. That is a lot of time passing people. Mm -hmm. A lot of time. But I like the fact that uh, you know Guy is still keeping his spirits up, even though he's now uh, reduced to being in a wheelchair. And God, do I find... You know, Akamaru being alive was enough. Anoki is still 
kicking. He is he's pretty much an old statue at this point though. <laughs> it's funny though, it's like his whole face is like gravity is having its way with I it. I think they even uh, uh have movement lines because it's like, you know, a little shaky and you know <laughs> That's so awesome. They got Killer B there. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm right? so glad there was at least one panel with Killer B. Yeah. Um and it's very simple. It's just, you know, showing his brand new look with his goatee and he looks he's like he's at the waterfall, more... the reflection waterfall. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks way more jacked than usual. Yep. Um, and then he's uh, still hanging out with the Eight Tails, of course, because they're buddies. And then, of course, we have Naruto doing paperwork in the office. And if you wanted to see the older versions of Udon and Mogi, Konoharmu's old uh, classmates, here they are. They pretty much look identical, just a little older. They're taller. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing basically just like Shikamaru, they're going to be acting as uh, Naruto's aides. And he's definitely going to need a lot of help because his son is a little asshole troublemaker because <laughs> he's constantly defacing the, uh, the Hokage summit and everything and just... It's it's a great callback to the very beginning, the very first chapter and episode in the anime series mm-hmm. where Naruto was defacing uh, Mount Ninja Moore with the paint and everything, and now Naruto's going to have to come up and beat some sense into his son, Bolt, which, that's an interesting name, Bolt Uzumaki. Bolt Uzumaki. It's very mm-hmm. un... Uh, I didn't see that coming. It mm-hmm. doesn't feel very Japanese. But, no. Uh, it's not a problem. I like no. it. It's simple. Uh, and, uh, he just, a clone shows up is what it seems like. Mm-hmm. The clone refers to Naruto as, hey, your dad is about to do important things today. You shouldn't mm-hmm. be here. And, uh, they, you know, everyone's like, oh, that Bolt, you know, that's kind of <laughs> some of that going on, you know, with everyone watching. Uh, and of course, Bolt is, uh, talk, or everyone says that Bolt is doing all this because he doesn't get enough attention from his dad, who is... Hokage, which is kind of funny because Naruto did all this because he didn't have any attention from family because he didn't mm-hmm. have one. So it's very much like father like son. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that Konoharmaru is actually Bolt Sensei. That is, uh, yeah, that very one, fitting. it just shows that Konoharmaru has come a long way. But two, it's just, it's so fitting because Naruto taught Konoharmaru. Konoharmaru is going to teach his son. It's just very fitting, especially when you go even further back in time with Minato teaching Kakashi, who taught Naruto, you know, who taught Konoharmaru, who taught his son. Like it all just. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's a great little cycle, and I thought that was really clever. Taking it even farther with what I was just saying about how Naruto's son Bolt doesn't feel like he's getting recognition from his father. His father says something along the lines of like, "Hey, like I know I'm not around all the time, but this village is like your family, and you may have to endure." I guess what he's saying is not being alone, but not having your family around all the time, and it's a lot like what Naruto had to endure. And that's like one of the themes of the show too: is like ninja are meant to endure. Yes. So let's get down to the big bombshell, which is Sasuke Ooh. and Sakura's daughter, Salada Uchiha, who definitely takes a lot of inspiration, I'd say more from the Sasuke side, yes. um, but she definitely has uh, a lot of like Sakura's like, what's the word I'm looking for here? Sass? Sass, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, she doesn't take any shit and uh, she's kind of annoyed by what Bolt is doing and everything, but uh, she's also... There's a rivalry there, I think. Yeah, it's, they're already sort of setting up the rivalry between Salada and Bolt, which obviously when they get to the part three of the series, I actually can't wait to see the interaction. And I'm kind of interested to see if they're going to keep them at this age or if they're going to age them a little bit more when they go to that. But uh, right after that, we have Sasuke, who uh, has a brand new look. We saw in the, the teaser images, and I still think he looks awesome. Um, I don't know yet anything like about his arm, like if it's been fully healed, because Naruto's hand is still bandaged up, and uh, you know they mentioned Hashirama cells, but they're still keeping that very secret, and I think that's actually a good idea. And the final panel is hilarious, is hilarious, and it's awesome for a number of reasons. One, the first shot of Konoha is great because it shows you how far they've come, how much they've rebuilt the village. There are skyscrapers behind Mount Ninja Moor, which I just love that, like modern skyscrapers, but. I think the best panel, clearly, is Mount Ninja Moore with uh, Naruto, the brand new Hokage, what his son decided to paint right in the middle On his of his headband, which is the One Piece flag. That is just so incredibly funny, and I don't know why. And I Maybe hope it's, it's just, real. I, I hope, hope it's real, too. I'm yeah. guessing this is probably just Kishimoto's, like, you know, tribute to One Piece. It's like, you guys keep it going. I know mm-hmm. this is coming to a close. Hold the fort down. Hold the fort down you and know. keep stuff coming out. And then uh, the final... Uh, Picture, uh, appropriately, is uh, Karama taking a nap, getting ready to, uh, you know, take a nap before the next big adventure. I'm not really sure where Karama is, if he's still within Naruto, or if he's outside sleeping on the grass, because it looks like he's sleeping on grass. Yes, yes it does. But it's still kind of hard to tell, but that is technically not the final panel. There is one more 
which basically just gives you sort of like a quick rundown of what the entire series was about, the themes of it, mm -hmm. and it just ends right there. Uh, Kishimoto thanks everybody for reading, and that's it. And it's so much to take in in 700. Whoa. It's, 700, it's all new stuff. 700 is like all new characters, and of course I care about them because they're the little versions mm -hmm. of the characters I do care about and the combination characters. But... At the same time, I just don't know much about them yet, and I'd love to. I'm ready to see them go on adventures now. Exactly. Just you know, if they didn't announce a part three, I don't know if I would have enjoyed this chapter as much as I did because now I'm like, ooh, I get to see these guys later. Yeah. You know, there is going to be potential for these characters later in the future, and uh, I love that. Obviously, this was a chapter that was in full color, and I think that really benefited. It looked really nice. It really popped. The artwork was incredibly clean and consistent. And uh, I, like you said, it's funny that everybody in Konoha has a kid now, basically. They're, they're, they really push traditional families in Konoha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, I'm, I'm more than satisfied, really, with the final chapter. Um, it actually did a lot of things I didn't think it was going to do. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a little abrupt at the end when Naruto met with the other uh, Kages, which there are new ones like Darui and uh, Chojuro and Kitsuche. They are now the brand new Kage yeah. for their respective villages. Gara mm -hmm. is still holding his position um, but it's just great to finally see all of them coming in, and I'm not really sure what they're getting ready to discuss, aside from basically just probably hanging out and going to eat ramen. I don't know. What I think is, is what they're really trying to do is, by not showing you what they're talking about, is just saying it's business as usual, look mm -hmm. at the clans working together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a great place for the ninja world to be at. And to take, the, something to take away from that is, you know, before the war arc, the thought of just Kage's sitting down and meeting casually and just talking uh -huh. was not a normal thing. This is a normal thing. Yes. Naruto walks in late to his own meeting in his own village. They're giving him a hard time about it and breaking his balls. And that just shows that they've actually like come together almost like uh, like a family at this point. They've literally combined the strength of all the villages together. Uh, otherwise, fantastic end. I thought it's 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 good. Uh, it's just so much to take in. It's so much to take in. It's good. Like uh, I'm at a little bit of a loss of words. I don't really know what to say too much for this. Mm -hmm. it, I'm glad that there's... I'm just really glad that there's hope for new Naruto stuff. Mm -hmm. And they've set up everything the right way. And uh, and even if there wasn't new Naruto stuff, I still think the final chapters and stuff were pretty satisfying. I just think only time will tell what we get in the future with mm -hmm. the new stuff. And uh, I'm just... It was a good run. I, uh, I really liked being a Naruto fan with you guys. So, mm -hmm. And I hope that you have enjoyed our reviews because we have enjoyed making them. We have. This has been an absolute pleasure uh, doing all this for you guys. Um, obviously, with all the brand new movies coming out and spinoffs, we are going to talk about them. And we have many, many more Naruto topic videos and top tens planned. So make sure and stay tuned for those. And uh, just you guys are probably wondering, where are we going to be next week? Well, you're just going to have to tune in to the same time and find out. Otherwise, before you guys leave today, we want to hear your thoughts. What did you think of the final chapter of Naruto? Did you have a favorite new character who was introduced in the final chapter? Are you satisfied? Are you dissatisfied? What did you think of the entire series in general? Please tell us in the comment section below. And if you guys could, please thumb up the video, like the video, it really helps us out a lot, and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, that way you can check out all of our latest anime and manga reviews. God, I, I still can't believe Naruto just ended, I mean, really thinking about it, I've been wearing this Konoha flak jacket since we started doing the reviews, and now that it's all done, I mean, without it, I'm just gonna feel kinda naked, I mean, what do you think? You know what, Corey? Let me just finish this edit, get this online. But dude, don't worry about it. There's going to be a ton more Naruto stuff in the future. Let's just go get a beer and celebrate the great run we had online. Yeah, you're right. All right, I'll be down in a minute. Hey, Christian, wait a second.